Do you remember these portraits on my wall? They were not mine, of course. As I said, they are by the amazing artist called Stéphanie Ledoux. about visiting her huge exhibition in Paris made of so impressive uh, up to five feet high travel portraits. Prepare to be inspired and uh, stay tuned for the special announcement and surprise at the end of the video. You will be as thrilled as me, I am sure. But let's not be late at uh, the exhibition. So now let's go to Stéphanie Ledoux and Maud Villaret exhibition opening. <laughs> This night is full of surprise. For this exhibition, Stéphanie Ledoux partnered with another talented French artist, Maud Villaret, which is a textile designer creating some wonderful ethnic jewelry. The event showcased mode accessories along with the Stephanie pieces, but there is more. The two artists were together for hours and hours and hours, combining their skills and their crafts on these pieces. Enjoying their artwork, you get fascinated alternatively by Stephanie mastering of portraits, subtle pencil strokes and bold colors with watercolor and other kind of paints. Stéphanie Ledoux also uses a collage of a paper and also fabric at a hard vantage. So there is already a really strong mixed media approach which keeps so well in my opinion the spirit of travel journaling with adding things, a bit of texture, pasting ephemera, recording atmosphere, places and meeting with the people in all kind of ways. And then Maud Villaret adds her own touch showing beds of all kind and sizes, adding balls of of fabric brightened up with more sewing of threads and beads. Some of the pieces show the addition of shells and even really hearing that Stephanie bought uh, when uh, traveling. This is so wonderful and fascinating and inspiring. I also just love how Stephanie creates these kind of caskets, the travel boxes, uh, including some things she brought from her travels and also some artistic materials along with her artwork, of course. That's so creative! The two artists say they share inspiration a bit like ping pong and so one starts uh, working on a piece and then the other one take over and that way each artist feeds a bit of the inspiration at the other one. That's so clever and such an interesting process. And you can tell that the collaboration is really gold because the pieces have such a mastery in every inch of them, in every technique used. Not to say but I am a bit an expert at composition and color harmony and balance and all this kind of thing and I can tell that there were never a piece that kind of bothered me in any case so I was kind of impressed by all this work Maud and Stephanie made together. I'm 
show you can be nothing but inspired by Stephanie and Maud ways of combining realism and expressive approaches. You know, I am not so much a museum person. I really prefer spontaneous creation uh, to refined perfect uh, pieces. But with uh, Stephanie art, I don't have this feeling of boredom that can happen for me in front of some masterpieces. They are so lively and shine with the life of the travel journal they kind of pop up from. And this is such a special kind of art to me. Can you believe how wonderful this is? And there is more because Stephanie Ledoux agreed to flip through for us her last travel journals in Papua New Guinea. So she's going to tell us everything about the anecdote of the traveling and how she created art during the trip. So the sketchbook and urban sketching and travel art tips. So stay tuned. Subscribe to the channel if you are new in here not to miss this incredible video along with following my wonderful creative adventure in France and all over the world. Kind of nice, exciting thing in the making. May the creative force be with you. See you.